Welcome back to Kids Church Online. My name is Teacher Janella and I will be your teacher for today. But before we proceed with our lesson, let's pray first. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity for us to have Kids Church Online. We pray for everyone's safety and health. We pray that during this time, we focus on you more. We pray that everyone who is worried about this pandemic finds rest in you. We thank you for your amazing power and work in our lives. When you are spirits, fill us with your peace and joy. We love you and we need you this day and every day. We give you praise and thanks for you alone are worthy. In Jesus' name, Amen. Are you ready for today's lesson? Great, me too. Our series for the month of June is all about the women in the Bible. For the past few weeks, we've talked about Louise, Elizabeth, and Miriam. This week, we will talk about Lydia. Lydia was a great friend to Paul and Luke and the rest of the ministry team. But before we talk more about Lydia, why don't we play a game? Are you up for it? Great! Do you know the color mixing game? Cool! Okay, I will be showing you two different colors that we will mix. 
and you tell me what would be the new color. Perfect. Let's start. What is the new color if we mix red and yellow? Three, two, one. Correct. Orange. How about if we mix blue and yellow? That's right. Green. Hmm, how about we mix red and blue? Three, two, one. Amazing! Purple. Did you enjoy that? I did too. Isn't it fun to mix different colors? And it's very easy too since we have a lot of different inks, dyes, paints, and crayons. But do you know that back in the day, the people who create dyes needed 9,000 or more pieces of a certain type of sea snail in order to produce one gram, very little, one gram of purple dye. That's why the cloth or purple cloth was only for the royalty or rich people. Our lesson for today is about a merchant who sold purple cloth. Her name was Lydia. Let's watch this video. In the book of Acts, we would see stories of how Apostle Paul would go to different places to share the gospel and meet new friends. One of the places he visited was the city of Philippi, where he met a woman named Lydia. Lydia was a worshipper of the God of the Jews. One Sabbath day, Paul and Silas went outside the gate of Philippi to go to a place of prayer. They saw a group of women gather there and talk to them. Lydia was there, and on that day, the Lord opened her heart to receive the message that Paul shared. Lydia was baptized, and not long after, her whole household was baptized too. Lydia was also a businesswoman. She was a seller of purple dye and probably one of the most successful and influential women of their city. She used her resources to help her friends and often opened her home to Paul and Silas while they were staying in Philippi. Lydia's faith can be seen with her generosity. She was one of the women working behind the scenes, generously sharing her faith with her household and sharing her riches to serve her brothers and sisters in Christ. That's the story of Lydia, a friend and Wonder Woman too. Wow, I hope you enjoyed that video. You see, after hearing Paul preach the gospel, Lydia and all the members of her household responded by being baptized. That in itself is action. But Lydia went further by inviting Paul and the missionary team to stay at her house. That not only meant that they could sleep in Lydia's house, but also they would be fed and taken care of. Because of Lydia's hospitality, the men had a place to stay while they were in Philippi, preaching the gospel. As we mentioned earlier, during the time of Lydia, purple was the most expensive color to manufacture. From that very little information we have about her, we can say that she was a successful businesswoman because she sold the most expensive cloth during that time. And she was able to afford a big house that could fit her family, servants, and the whole missionary team of Paul and Silas. God allowed her to become successful at work because he had a purpose for her. Her house served as home for Paul and his team whenever they were in the area, thereby helping the gospel advance in Philippi. Do you know that the recent coronavirus pandemic is not the first pandemic the world has ever experienced? Yes, in fact, 
One of the worst pandemics was the 1918 influenza. Theaters, schools, and businesses and churches had to shut down because of the flu outbreak. However, churches started accommodating the sick who couldn't enter the hospitals and the poor who had nothing to eat. Just when the world closed its doors, the church opened hers to serve the people. The scriptures say the Lord opened up the heart of Lydia to accept the gospel, that Jesus is Lord and Savior. Lydia, in turn, opened up her house to help Paul and his team spread the good news. In the end, they became very good friends. We are all capable of helping the gospel spread. We can do it in our own little ways, like sharing your food to someone who is hungry, or saying hello to someone who is lonely, or even giving part of our allowance to our church's mission fund. Lydia was a rich lady who invited Paul and his friends to stay at her home. Do you know that there is also someone who is rich that even the streets of his home are made of gold? This someone is inviting us into his home too. And that person is Jesus, who lives in heaven where everything is grand and beautiful. He is inviting us to have a relationship with him and have the chance to live with him forever in his home someday. That's a great news, right? And now for our power truth, I can help others follow God. Can you please repeat? I can help others follow God. And for our power verse from Hebrews chapter 13 verses 7, Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Can we repeat that? Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Hope you kids enjoy your lesson for today. See you again next week. Hello kids, I am Teacher Hani. Did you listen to our lesson today? Wow, good job! Kids, always remember that Jesus Christ is always welcoming us to His home. He's always inviting us to have relationship with Him. All we must do is answer and accept to His call. Because one day, when the time comes, we will live together with Jesus Christ in His home. Isn't it exciting? And now, it's time for our craft. So I'm going to show you how to do our craft today. Are you all excited? Can you give me a thumbs up? Wow, that's great. So now, our um, craft for today is uh, we're going to make a welcome one day. So here's the materials. Color paper, ruler, glue, marker and pencil, string, scissors, and tape. Let's start! Kids, we will use seven colors because the word welcome has seven letters. How do you spell welcome? Wow, amazing! W-E-L-C-O-M-E -E. Welcome! So now we have to make seven triangles. To earlier, I already made a triangle pattern. So you can use this pattern to trace the triangle and cut it out. So it's time to cut. Kids, be careful. You have to ask your parents or guardian to assist you with cutting. Are you enjoying now? Wow! We're almost done! Wow! Now we have our seven triangles. Now it's time for the letters. 
So we have to draw the letters and cut the pattern. Again, kids, when cutting the letters, you have to ask for assistance, okay? And then you have to paste all the letters to each triangle. Then attach the triangle to your strings using tape. 